Welcome to Real Estate Essentials. I'm your host, Jay Deere. On today's program, we're going to show you an amazing before and after remodel that the guys from Fix just finished up down in Alpine, as well as some beautiful home tours. All that and more coming up right after this. I'm Jay Deere. I've been on top of Utah's real estate market for over 10 years. I will show you things about this market that you never knew. just got home from vacation and we found that we had a leak and it went from the top floor all the way down to the second floor all the way into the basement. Um, we were totally devastated. I can't believe something like this happened while we were gone. We've had so much damage and I'm not sure what to do but I think I'm going to call Jay. Got a call from Lori down in Alpine and she's had a massive flood and so I'm going to head down there because she might be selling in the next couple years. We're going to see what we can do to increase the value of her home while they're doing those repairs. So Lori, a flood. Did you get the water turned off? We did. We were away on vacation. We got home and all three floors have water damage. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go take a look at it. Okay. So after walking through the property with Lori, it was very clear there was significant damage that had happened. There was a pinhole leak that had happened in her master bathroom upstairs. It had gone down and ruined the, the ceiling and knocked out the ceiling on the main floor and damaged the floor there and gone all the way down into the basement. There's a lot of repair that's going to be need to be done here. But the big question is, how did this flood happen? How did this leak happen? So I'm going to get Am and my plumber to take a look at this. So Am and what happened? Uh, so flood, what happened? Just a hole in the pipe. It's copper pipe, and that's typical for any type of metal used in plumbing systems. And so it just fails? It just creates a hole, or what happens? Yeah, what ends up happening is there's turbulence in the pipe just from water flow over time. It ends up corroding a small hole in this, this case. So this is just common stuff that happens. How does turbulence, what is turbulence in a pipe? So as the water moves through the pipe, it'll hit a burr or, or some type of uh, imperfection in the pipe, and it will end up corroding that spot and kind of wear it out it'll wear it out and so this one was a really small hole so they didn't really notice it so it, it ran for a couple days until it was a big mess right that's right and so is there is there a better type of system than copper out there right now there's a lot of plastics that are available pex is one of them that is superior to copper mm -hmm. in the application yeah, I notice that. i'm seeing a lot of that in the new construction now yeah. and so that's the big thing and so let's say this is there a way to avoid because this took them a couple days is there a way for people if they were gone on vacation or something that they could you know, figure out there's a problem and it would just take care of itself again? There are. There's uh, several different methods. Uh, they call them a smart home. Mm -hmm. It'll actually detect moisture in areas where it shouldn't be and end up shutting off the, the water for them. That's perfect. So if they're gone on vacation, it actually recognize that because that's happened before. I've heard of that. People going mm -hmm. on vacation, come home, the whole house is ruined. Yeah. Floods never happen at a convenient time. <laughs> yeah. So now that we've figured out how the flood happened and got it repaired, now we've got to take care of the aesthetic problem. So I'm going to have my guys from Fix come in and see what they can do to help Lori out. So Lori, our mitigation guys are done with their work. Everything is dried out from the water damage. The pipe's been fixed and everything's good that way. Now we're ready to go ahead and start on the repair work. Um, and that's going to include new insulation, new drywall, new baseboards, all new trim, and we're going to paint everything like it never even happened before. So we're going to start that right away. Okay. Um, you know, we, we were thinking about doing a remodel, and we thought this might be the perfect time to do it. Yeah. We have a couple bedrooms upstairs that we'd like to combine to make a master, and then possibly put new flooring down and redo our stairs. That, that sounds like a great project, and it sounds like a lot of fun for us. We'd really like to do that for you, and now would be a great time to do that. Our guys are going to be here um, doing the work already on everything downstairs and, and doing that. So um, what I'd like to do is put together some ideas and put some plans together for you and bring that back to you and, and let you see those, those ideas that we have. Okay, that'd be great. While the guys at Fix are working on those issues, let's go look at a beautiful home. Darren, we are down here in Pleasant Grove, and what's better than a house with an incredible view? What's that? A helicopter with an incredible view. Right on. And in this case, we actually have both. We have a, obviously the helicopter's beautiful view, and this house 
is, is a standout. It's up on the side of the mountain and it's got views and decks off the back and it's just situated beautifully. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this house. Priced at a, a price tag of $495. Um, it is just above that kind of lo uh, jumbo loan size, right? That's right. Yeah, when you're above that 417 mark, mm -hmm. a 417 is your conventional mortgage cap. So anything above that's going to put you in a jumbo loan. Now is that is that statewide or is that that's national actually? Oh, it's national, really? Because uh -huh. they do some FHA stuff where it's you know literally by uh, county. Yeah, right? FHA is different. Yeah, right. County, but this uh, obviously you do a conventional loan on this one most likely. So they did some beautiful styling on this one. As you can see, they really, they put some great thought in this house and great styling and the rails, I'm, I'm a big fan. Their decorating is beautiful. Really nice big open kitchen. You can look out at the family. And, um, but one of the real standouts, of course, about this house is that the way it's situated against the mountain and on the side and the absolutely beautiful views. And, and we always talk about on the show that location is everything. And it's right. like the, you know, the basic points. As, as our cities grow, they'll condense and get tighter and tighter. And we've seen this over the years that people used to have five acre lots. Yeah. And now all of a sudden they went down an acre and sold off four to acres and they put you know, four more houses yeah, that's around. Right. So mm -hmm. This one where it's situated, it's right next to BLM land, so they can't build because it's right against the mountains. And so, so you've got a cul-de-sac right against the mountains, incredible views. It will always be worth what they call that premium, premium dollars. It'll always get a high price. And it feels like you are in a resort property, potentially, because you're right up there in the mountains. That's right. And yeah. when the 4th of July comes around, and the way they did, they actually have three decks off the back with us. So as you're in the master bedroom, you can actually walk out the door on your own deck off the master. They've got one off the main floor, and they've got a walkout basement. And as you walk out on the sprawling grounds in this, you're going to see this in a minute, which are just amazing. Um, you've got views even from the far sides of your, um, of your uh, backyard. Real nice master bath there, and they they've done really good use of these uh, two-way fireplaces mm -hmm. because I mean if you're gonna do a fireplace, um, why not put a piece of glass on the other side? Yeah, and you can look through it. It's a really great idea. Yeah, and this is where we're gonna be down in the and down in the basement, and and they've got that home theater put in there, a place for the kids to play. There. Yeah, looks like a pretty big expansive place. Yeah, yeah. Nice tall ceilings. I love that in basements. Light yes. tall ceilings. Okay, so going outside, now we're going to take a look at those amazing views, and you can see around the neighborhood. I like these. I like these shots because you really get the feel. So, Darren, let's talk a little bit about the financing on this one because it's a little bit unique. So, yeah. So, like we mentioned before, if you could get your loan amount to that 417, you'll be in the very best terms. And so, on this particular case, um, that at a purchase price of 495, that would mean that you would put want to put $78,000 down, which is almost 16%. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, and you can get an APR of 4.45% on a 30-year fixed, mm -hmm. then your principal and interest portion would be 2128. You'd have mortgage insurance and taxes and insurance on top of that. But for that type of property, that's a really, really great value. That is a good deal, huh? Because it's almost like buying a cabin. Yeah, it's kind of away from it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're on a little retreat. Yep. Yeah, so you're saying the payment on this without is only about $2,100. Yeah, twenty-one, twenty-eight, principal and interest only, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every month when Susan gets her power bill, she gets a shock because the power bills continue to steadily rise month after month. Susan is a mom, a wife, and a smart woman. She found Solar Tech Solutions. Susan made an environmental and economical decision. She installed a solar power system that saves her thousands every year. If you can afford ever-increasing power bills, you can certainly afford your solar power system. Get your free energy consultation today and switch to SolarTech with nothing out of pocket. Oftentimes, our clients come to us at the most challenging and difficult times in their lives. We found that at these difficult times, what really makes a difference is knowledge, and that's where we come in. someone dropping the ball on your mortgage recruiter professional Darren Rhodes Utah's mortgage pro he's got the skills speed and experience to win the best financing for your home so draft Darren today at utahmortgagepro.com
So Lori, from the conversation that we had, you want to do a remodel upstairs and create a master suite. So here's some of the ideas that I had. We can completely knock down this wall that separated the two bedrooms. We need to take that furnace and put it up into the attic. And what that'll do is enable us to have a large master bedroom for you. Nice. And then we're going to do a, a built-in master tub right here by the window. Awesome. You'll have a great view of the valley right there. Um, let's move on to the master shower. We're going to do a steam shower for you. Awesome. Right there. Next to that, you're going to have a private toilet area where it used to be out in the open. Mm -hmm. Your own, you have a lot more privacy, which is great. That would be great. And then you remember before here in the corner, you had another bedroom. Now, if we if we close that in and get rid of that that uh, entrance, that door, we'll have a very large master closet for you. I love that. And then right next to it, what I was thinking was we could do a stackable washer and dryer right next to the master closet. That'd be perfect because then I wouldn't have to take my clothes downstairs anymore. I thought you would like that a I lot. I love it. So Jay, when we got here to the Jamesons and specifically on this stairway, it was really narrow mm -hmm. because the original builder of this railing just did the simple way. They did a straight railing straight up. So in, in customizing the house and, and making it uh, a nicer feature, we decided to do an S turn and do some goosenecks on this. So you this literally rail. move back the newel post and then brought it up and you're going to wrap it around. Yeah, so what that does is it creates more space and, and makes it easier to get up that stairway. Furniture gets up a lot easier, things yeah. like that. But it does complicate things because in order to get these S turns and goosenecks, they have to be ordered a few weeks out. So you have to foresee that. That stuff has to be ordered um, to make a piece like that, it's it's like six different pieces of wood putting that together. Wow. So it's, it's pretty complicated. Yeah. In, so what are you guys going to do that. here? What's your plan? So I know it's hard to imagine and hard to picture, but before, again, we had a straight run with the railing across here. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is they lost about a foot in space in the hallway here. Yeah. And there was just dead space down there on the floor of a foot, just, just nothing going on. So again, we're going to do an S-turn with the railing. So you wrap it down and then wrap it around and... Exactly, and, it, and it's going to be great. It's going to look a lot more pretty. It's going to be beautiful. So Jay, we're doing a ton of work here in the master suite, uh -huh. but I want to show you something really cool in here. So Jay, check this out. This is a cool space. This was a bedroom, wasn't it? This was a, a bedroom upstairs here, and um, it was completely separate from the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with that. There was a little, there was a doorway to get in and yeah, a closet. A little the closet over had. here, right? Yeah. It's a neat room because it has a lot of light, mm -hmm. and we decided to create a, a nice master closet for them. Oh, so this is going to be the master closet. Yeah, this is the master closet. Does it make a challenge when you got all the windows? It does because there's not as much wall space to mm -hmm. put the closet shelving in and mm -hmm. things like that. We are going to put some shoe racks uh, underneath the windows. So take advantage of that space? Yeah, it makes it usable, but it's going to be a great built-in shelf. Uh, we're having a company come out and do that for us. We're going to have an island right in the middle, middle of the area, mm -hmm. which makes it real usable. So it's, it's going to be an excellent closet. Where it used this to is be where a, they can fold all their clothes and stuff? Yeah, do some ironing, fold their clothes. used to be kind of a smaller bedroom. Now it's a good size master closet. That's going to be perfect. So it's, it's, it's a nice space. So outside here on the chimney, what they had was some red brick. Mm -hmm. And red brick's all right, but it didn't match the house at all. Yeah, it looks like they're more going with earth, earth tones. It looked off, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, what we wanted to do, and what we had a great idea, was to put some stone on there that's going to match the house, match the stucco, and match the rest of the stone that they have on the house. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we had to run some new electrical work for the, uh, for the remodel inside mm -hmm. and run some conduit. So we decided, since we have to tear into there anyway, let's put some stone on that chimney and let's upgrade that. So it worked out perfect. You were able to run the electrical inside the chimney and redo the chimney at the same time. That's right. Looks good. While the guys at Fix are working on those issues, let's go look at a beautiful home. Darren, we're headed on down to Utah County and we're in Springville, and this is on Hillcrest Drive. That's a really nice, we kind of like to, uh, you know, kind of give a gamut. Look at this though, off the subject, our camera guy is getting really good at doing these uh, helicopter shots, He's right? Loving the aerials, absolutely. Yeah, he can become very creative, I like it. It's looking really good. Okay, so this is a really nice house. It's 2842 square feet. It's got uh, four bedrooms, three full baths. Um, it's on 0 0.20 acres. And one of the really nice things about this one, this is what they call a, a mother-in-law apartment on this one. 
Yeah, Darren, have you dealt much with uh, mother-in-law apartments? Yeah, actually I have. There's, there's quite a bit that uh, you can take into consideration with a mother-in-law apartment. Mm -hmm. And so, do you know the difference between a mother-in-law apartment and like a duplex? Uh, yeah, let's go over that actually. That's pretty That's, important. Yeah, it's a good thing to know. Uh, uh, a a mother-in-law apartment is designed to have theoretically somebody in your family living in the basement, ideally, because there are a lot of city codes and a lot of things that get into involved in that. And when you get into a duplex, that's when you get into uh, people owning actually a property that can be rented to two different people. That's right. Uh -huh. so it gets into like an investment property, right? Yeah, exactly. So a duplex is separate living space because they'll have separate meters mm -hmm. um, and separate entrances. That's right. But a house with a mother-in-law apartment will have an entrance from the inside typically mm -hmm. and will only have one meter for the, all of the utilities. Yeah. So, and it's designed for one side to be an owner-occupant. But this is actually really important because the financing for a duplex can be different for, than the financing for a single family residence. Usually single family residence financing can be a little bit more favorable. That's right. And so what, what are the differences? What do you have to do if you're going to get, if you're going to get a duplex? Well, if you're going to get a duplex, then you have to look into whether you're going to live in one side or whether you're going to buy it as an investment and, you know, higher down payments, things like that. Mm -hmm. So I imagine the best terms is if you were actually going to live in it and rent out the other side, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. But you know what's great about a home like this with a mother-in-law apartment is you can buy the property with a, a regular single family financing and uh, you can have somebody move in since you're living in one side typically and uh, you know that'll help supplement your mortgage. It's a really great investment. Yeah, good idea. This one, one of the real highlights about this particular home, of course, is uh, obviously is what they consider a single family residence designed to have one family living in it, but it actually has two kitchens. And it's got a really beautiful backyard. Wait till we go to the backyard. The aerial view that they did with the camera work was really quite exceptional. Yeah. The two kitchens will uh, add value to the property as well. Absolutely. So I was looking up there at the mountains there. Uh, so what happens, there's, there's your view looking over. Look at that backyard. They got a really nice deck. And it actually terraces down all the way down into a walkout basement. It's a great backyard. Yeah, it's. And this is early spring as they're shooting this, so as it, it gets a little more into you know summer, this thing's going to really fill in. They've got some some beautiful uh, stuff that kind of wraps around all their uh, all their railing. The mountain views from the back deck have got to be fantastic. So if Darren, somebody wanted to get a loan on something like this, what would it look like? Well, the great thing about this property is there's a lot of different loan options, but if you were to do a conventional loan with 5% down, um, your APR, you'd expect it to be about 4.45%, and uh, that would put your loan amount at just over 237000 Your principal and interest only would be 1168 That wouldn't count mortgage insurance or taxes or insurance or anything like that, but very affordable. went back over to the Jamison's house to check out all the final changes with Aaron. So Jay, if you remember, there used to be two rooms here. What we wow. did is we took the single door and made it into a double door, opened that up. Right where I'm standing was the furnace. I remember, you exited from the hallway, right? Yeah. So we just took the furnace straight up above me. This furnace is sitting up there working great. Great and, idea. And right along here, we had a, a, a wall that was yeah. separating two, two rooms. Yeah, and they don't need that extra room now. Yeah, so we opened it up. Huge master bedroom now. It's Looks wonderful. Like all the nice windows all across the back side there. Yeah, great view of the valley right there. Uh -huh. And so tell me a little bit about this railing, the stuff well, that you added in. Well, it was just a wood railing, um, kind of outdated, mm -hmm. you know, built uh, a few years ago when the yeah. house was originally built. So we upgraded to a nice handrail, mm -hmm. uh, stained handrail with beautiful wrought iron yeah. on there. This is super popular right now. It is. It is. Yeah, the homeowners like it a lot. They love that. Now, Jay, I wanted to bring you to the master bathroom. And Lori went out. She found this beautiful uh, vanity here locally. I love it. It's beautiful. It, isn't it great? It's, it's elegant, it, the style of it. So that's kind of where we started. And we wanted to center the whole bathroom and build everything around that as the centerpiece of our bathroom. Nice so work. if you see the fixtures, the lighting fixtures, and everything in here, the style goes towards elegant. Yeah, very, so, very nice. I yeah. love the chandelier right above the tub. Yeah, that's beautiful. And again, goes with goes with the style there. Now, if I want to bring you to this built-in master tub, it's big. Yeah, we went over to Standard. They supplied the tub. The for standard us. plumbing is that who it is? Yeah, mm -hmm. Standard Plumbing. Drop right in, and you'll notice around the tub, uh, we did some custom tile work. Beautiful work. And all the tile that you see there, we got from Imser, yeah. over at Imser Tile. In fact, they supplied all the tile that you're going to see here in the master bedroom, okay, very the master nice. bath. 
So we had our guys install that uh, tile and, and we set that tub in there. And now I, I want to show you this steam shower over here. Show me. So over here at the steam shower, about the only thing that we did keep and reuse was this glass door yeah, that they had perfect, on the shower yeah. before. And then if you look inside the shower, you see this beautiful mosaic. And Very Lori nice. and, and Joe over at Wholesale Flooring, they got together and they designed that themselves. Oh, really? And they kind of just showed you what they wanted and you put it all together for them? Yeah, exactly. Along with the, the, the floor there on the shower. Mm, it's beautiful. And, and that's, a, that's a steam shower. Okay, that, well, I love steam showers. And so what's this thing up above here? You've got a, a, a rain shower head right above. Okay, so you've got um, options. options. Lots of exactly. options in there, yeah. Very, very nice. I love all the tile work, beautiful work. And so headed down the hall here, what are we, yeah. what are we seeing? Yeah, I want to take you over here and, and probably the most, the thing that Lori's really excited about the most is a stackable washer and dryer. Mm, gosh, I would love to have one of those. Check that out. So you come from your, your uh, bathroom area you got your washer and dryer, do your laundry right there. And from our laundry area that I just showed you, we come into our master closet. Wow, this has transformed a lot. This was a bedroom before, It right? used to be a bedroom. Yeah, a decent sized bedroom, but a great sized master closet. Yeah, I love this. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is a center island that they have in their master closet. They can mm -hmm. do all their folding right here. They have some drawers that they can they can put their knickknacks in and, and put stuff in there. And it still leaves a perfect amount of space to be able to walk around and be able to get to all your clothes. Yeah, we had all this stuff built in. They have shoe racks along the bottom underneath the windows. Yeah. Yeah, right here, where you're looking, there used to be a door. From that the was hallway. a door of the hallway, That's right? how you got into this place. So we just close that off. And just like that, yeah, create, perfect. put a door right there. Big master bedroom into your much bigger uh, master bath and then roll right into your huge master closet. It, I love it. It finishes off the master suite. Perfect, perfect definition of a master suite is having a closet like this. Yeah, this is nice work. I love yeah. it. So Jay, this is the formal dining room here. And I this remember. is a significant room because this is where the water damage was. Yeah, I remember I came right down the ceiling. So you fix the ceiling there. Yeah, fix the ceiling, fix the wall, got new mm -hmm. base put in there. And in this room, we did new hardwood floor yeah. as we, as we did throughout beautiful. the rest of this level in here. So Jay, we're here in the mudroom now, and uh, we had some water damage. We put a new ceiling in for them, got oh, that wow. all done. Mm -hmm. uh, so as we continue on here, I wanted to show you this floor. Um, again, we got the tile from Emser Tile. Uh -huh. It's a 12 by 24, and they decided to go with the earth tone because that goes with the rest of the house. Now, I notice a lot of people are going to this new kind of length and style, right? Yeah, the 12 by 24, what you do with that is you put it on a brick pattern, and you do it on a one-third, two-third brick pattern mm -hmm. because you get the level, it ends up being a lot more level, and you don't get li uh, little lifts and edges on there. As uh -huh. you're walking, you don't feel those. If you just did a regular half and half brick pattern, you'd have some problems, you'd feel those edges sometimes. Yeah, it's really, really smooth. It's a beautiful tile, I really like it. Aaron, I can't help but notice uh, the hardwood floor here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, the Jamesons decided to go with hardwood on their whole main floor and replace the old wood, what was here. So we went on over to Wholesale Flooring, mm -hmm. and Joe helped us out, and uh, Lori picked out a beautiful walnut uh, engineered hardwood. Now, when you say engineered hardwood, what's that mean? A little bit different than a, a true um, pure hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's engineered, meaning that the top layer, uh, about a millimeter thick, is real hardwood, and then the rest is a composite underneath that. Mm -hmm. And then what's the benefit in that? Well, the benefit is it's less expensive, mm -hmm. first of all, and it's typically more durable. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, that's, both, that's what everybody wants, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. When this flood happened, the Jamesons were devastated because it, it really, they felt like they couldn't stay in this home anymore, like it had damaged it beyond, you know, the ability to stay in the property. But after getting done here, we've literally been able to create a new environment and, and make it even better than it was before. There's a term in real estate called functional obsolescence. And basically what that means is houses that are older, say like example, a 1950s home where they made all the bedrooms the exact same size and they would have one bathroom and everybody would share it. The houses that are built today are not built like that. The houses today are built to have like a grand master suite with a huge bathroom and of course you want to have a big master closet. And although this flood was absolutely devastating, it actually helped them to be able to create this. And so now they've got all everything just like a brand new house would have. And the really nice thing about it is when it comes time to sell this thing, I'm gonna be able to get them a whole lot more money.
Lori, the remodel's all done and the, the flood's all fixed. Uh, what do you think? Well, obviously, when the flood first happened, I was devastated. But I am so incredibly pleased with how it turned out. And it's actually more beautiful than I ever could have imagined it. So Much better than having to move, right? Yes, much better. Yeah, well, so. uh, thanks so much for calling me. I'm glad well, I could help you. Thank you for all your help. Out. We really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning into this week's show. Remember, real estate's all about local knowledge and timing, and that's what you get here on Real Estate Essentials. Jay Deer here, host of Real Estate Essentials. Are you thinking about buying a new home? If you're interested, contact us. We might like to feature you in an upcoming episode. Be sure to tune in to Utah's Real Estate Authority every Sunday afternoon at 1230, only on ABC for Utah.